Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wassalamu ala asyrafil mursalin sayidina wa habibina maulana Muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wasallim. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana. Allahumma 'allimna ma yanfa'una wa zidna 'ilma ya muqallibal qulub. Thabbit qulubana ala dinik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I trust that you can all hear me, insha'Allah. Okay. Uh, can you just confirm that you are able to hear me, insha'Allah? So I just... Alaikum uh... salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, welcome to the Lord Kata. Okay, Bismillah. I pray that all of you are well, inshallah ta'ala. And I think we can start immediately with assignment number four. Four was for homework, right? Eh? If I remember correctly. I think four was for homework. So, um, Bismillah. Assignment number four starts, Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ardi. So the first question, we just move to out a bit here. The first question is, what are the grammar labels for the underlined words in the sentence? Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ardi. Bismillah wants to go first. All easy ones. Malana, I'll take it when it's easy, Malana, inshallah. <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> um, if I, I'm just looking at my paper now. Yeah, they're all harful jar, ismul majrur, Malana. They're all harful jar, ismul majrur, perfect. So, li, harful jar, but, but inshallah, that's just too easy, so I must keep it for the next one, inshallah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Malana. The li is a harful jar, and the word Allah, Rathul Jalala, ismul majrur, fi harful jar, as samawati, ismul majrur, fi harful jar, al ardi, ismul majrur. Again, I think by now, the harful jar, ismul majrur, should be easy to you, should be like becoming automatic for you, inshallah. Next mm. one. If the ma is the mubtada, so the ma there, if that is the mubtada, what is the news for it, just in terms of the meaning? So, can, can I answer, Malana? Bismillah. So, this one, I, I gave it some thought. I, I think it's just the fi as samawati, because that gives news um, to the first part of the sentence. And then what I, I understood was, then the next part of the sentence, wa ma fil arut, I thought that it would split that separately, Malana. So that was the second part of the sentence. Okay, but so, so let's go in terms in terms of meaning. So what I mentioned there was this ma. Let me turn just highlight it quickly. This ma is news, right? This ma is the news. Now, when I when I say when I say uh, news, I mean something is something. You with me? So the ma is the focus of the sentence. So what is the e something about that ma? So from the translation, uh, in the heavens and in the earth. So as sama wa fi wa ma fi al. Okay, okay, okay. I see that they, 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 they yes, yeah, so they have an is there. Um, whatever is it, okay. Let me put it differently. If I said to you, whatever is in the heavens, is that is that a sentence? No. No. So therefore, it can't be a full sentence. Well, whatever. Add the second part. Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Is that a sentence? No, it's not conveying a full meaning, is it? It's not conveying a full meaning. So you're with me? Mm -hmm. So it's not conveying a full meaning. So, so we still have a problem. So, so if the so ma is the, the translation, sentence, where does the, the belongs come from then, Molana? Because if you add that, then that makes it a sentence, correct? Yes, yes. So, so, so what I want to want to point out first is that if I'm going to say that this is the news, oops, uh, if I'm going to say that this is the news here, then this, the focus and the news should convey a full meaning. Do you with me? See, if I, if I had to say, fi samawati wa ma fil ardi is the news, then that too should convey, the, convey a full meaning. But they, they, they don't actually. Okay. You with me? Because you always have two parts. You have the focus and you have the news. Okay. So, okay. 
So the question is, where is the belongs? The belongs is part of the li. Oh, okay. Because like li, li means what? Four. Four. You can say like two Allah, or four Allah is what is in the heavens and in the earth. Is that, is that a full sentence? For Allah is whatever is in the heavens. That's, that, that is, because it conveys the full, full meaning. The full meaning. So I come back to my question again. Where is the, where is the news for the mah? Is it in the li, Malana? In the li. Good. Because that, that, only, that, that only the li? No, no, no. Li and then the fi samawat yuma fil al. That then conveys the whole meaning, right? What about the word Allah? Okay, okay, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 what's so, your final but, answer? So, Malana, <laughs> I'm confused because then the, 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 the khabar and the news is now split on both sides of the word ma. The lillahi fi samawat yuma fil al. Okay, okay. So, so let me. Okay, let me, let me first ask if you have any other answers and I'll give the answer afterwards. Anybody else have an answer? No, 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 it's a, it's a tough one, it's a tough one. So, Tawheed, Bismillah. Well, no, no, we discussed in the class that um, the Ma is the Mubtada, um, mm -hmm. and then the Lillahi is the Habar. So, in effect, the question, the, the, if you just take that two parts, then the, the sentence will be whatever is to Allah. Okay. Then it's okay, Mubtada good. and Habar. So okay. um, the lilai is the hubbard. Okay. And uh, somewhere in one of our examples, again, uh, we came across where the hubbard was in front and it was also a harful jar ismu majarur. I'm not okay, sure good. if it's the, with Maulana Khalil or with one of the surahs that we did. I'm not okay. sure which one it was. Okay, perfect. So, so that's the right answer. And let me just talk through quickly, inshallah. So let's first talk about the fis samawati wa ma fil ardi. The ma is very, is very similar to alladhi. The ma in this, this ma, not the ma that means not, this ma that means whatever or that which. This ma is very similar to alladhi. Um, so whatever comes after the ma is in fact part of the ma. Whatever comes after the ma is in fact part of the ma. So this year, um, if I had to draw this year, this year, all of this year is actually going to be a a part of this year. All of that's going to be a, a part of that. Because, <clears throat> well, this is going to be joined to it, but all of this is going to be part of, of this. So this on its own doesn't make a full construction. So this is like actually all part of the same thing. It's all part of the same thing. Now, if I ask the question, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, what about it? And what about it? Like, 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 like what, if, if that's the focus of the sentence, the news of the sentence, what about whatever is in the heavens and, in the, and, and whatever is in the earth? What about it is? It belongs, it is for Allah. So the news about whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, the news about it is Lillah. So this is the news about it. So this here is going to be the news about it. So this here, in fact, is going to be the Muptada, and that's going to be in place of the, okay, this thing is making its own shapes. Uh, do I, I don't know how to stop this thing from making shapes, but anyway. And this here is going to be the, this is going to be the, the Khabar. This is going to be the Muptada, and this is going to be the, the Khabar. So the so to answer the question, if the ma is the mubtada, and we haven't done this actually second year work, but if the ma is the mubtada, the fi samawati wa, wa ma fil ardi is part of this ma. But the news about ma is going to be the lilla. So in other words, the news and news in Arabic we say khabr. So this is a strange situation where you have the khabr first, and the ma is the mubtada which comes second. If you didn't get that 100% or you're still a bit confused, it's fine. I just wanted to start introducing the concept of a a khabar moving before the mubtara and the mubtara moving after the khabar. Are there any questions about that uh, or clarification that you need on that? Brother Ishara, are you okay? Yeah, shukran Malana, that makes a bit more sense. I think what was confusing me was was the, that the mubtara and khabar is, is swapped. 
um, because I had never seen that before. As yes, as yes, as yes. As I'm yes. could understand. Well, I just had yes. a question. I, I'm just going through my notes. Um, wasn't there something to do with the Muqtada and Qabr, the, 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 the Hal of the, the Khabar? Yes, yes. So it's a good, it's a good question. Slide over here. I'm just going through my notes quickly because I can't remember. No, no, perfect. Time. That's a perfect question. So, 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 so what, actually, what actually happens the Lillahi, we don't say the Lillahi is actually the Khabar. We say the Lillahi oh. is a harful jar and the ism majroor in the place of the Khabar. Ooh, okay. You with me? So we don't say it, it, it is the Khabar because not, it's not in the Rafun. The Khabar is always in the Rafun. It is in place of the Khabar. Okay. 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 So, That's quite cool. Shukran. Okay. So let me just give you a simple example to what, what I mean by in place of the Khabar. If I, if I write a sentence here, I write a sentence here. Well, Isha, maybe you can join us for, this, for, the, for the example here. Yeah? Bismillah, you can translate for me the sentence, the sentence here. Yeah. Rajulu fil bait. The man is in the house. Okay, now my first question is, is that the full sentence? The man is in the house. Yes, complaints conveys full meaning, right? Okay, do you think it's a verb sentence or a noun-based sentence? Noun-based, because the first word is, there's a muqtada and there's a khabar. So where's the muqtada? Muqtada is the focus, so ar rajulu. Ar rajulu is the muqtada, so where's the khabar? So, or, or let me ask a question. What is the news about the man? Oh, I see what one is getting to. Feel bait. So, in the house. That's the news. Can you see, so the news here is feel bait. Is, is, is in the house. You with me? So, so what do I say here? I say the fee is harful jar and the al bait is majrur. And these two together take the place of the khabar. Okay. So I guess at the first year level, that's why we could, we could just say when we had a single word as a, as a khabar. Then you could say that was in rough, but in this it gets a bit more complicated. Okay. Yes, and I can make it more complicated if you want. <laughs> Sounds like that. Feel baity, Rajulun. So, so would that be the man is in the house? But so, so but, the, but shouldn't the okay, muqtada so, be the focus of the sentence at the beginning, Molana? Okay, so basically, you agree with me in the first sentence, the, the man is the focus of the sentence? Yes. In the first one. What I did in the second one is I made the man indefinite, and I moved into the end oh. of the sentence. So how did I translate that? Feel Um. Yeah, so Just translation. So, so if you go, in the house is a man? Good. So in the house is a man. Perfect. In the house is a man. So what I did here is I, is I took what was the muqtada and I put it at the end of the sentence. And I took what was in place of the khabar and I put it at the beginning of the sentence. So I'm just illustrating here how we can swap a muqtada and khabar around. And so it, to, well, in the second yeah. example, not so interrupting. Yes. Um, feel baiti. Is that not now the focus of the sentence? In no, the no, house. That will be the news. The man still says the focus of the sentence. Okay, I need to give this no, So, so let me, let me explain the, the pattern. The pattern is that in the Quran, you, you're going to see this, the same pattern all the time and, and it's very easy to spot. The pattern is going to be that the first two words are going to be harful jar, ismul majroor, and the third word is going to be a word in the rafun. Allah, for example, will say, lahum adabun. Translate, translate for me. Lahum adabun. To him, uh, Lahu, is punishment. Lahu, uh, for him is the punishment. Or, or no, is not punishment? him. Not, not Lahu, Lahum. Oh, for them is punishment. Lahum is the, for them is a is, is a, a punishment. A so we see we have the same thing. Lahum is harful jar is majrur, and oh. adabur is a is a single word in the rafun. So oh. this pattern that you see here is going to continue in the Quran all the time, all the time. We have harful jar is majrur followed by a word in the rafun. And when you have that, you have a, a delayed mubta, it's called a delayed mubtada and a khabar which is brought forward. I don't, I'm not studying it with you now, I'm just mentioning it by the way. Um, so it just like, uh, you, 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 you like sort of covered it, but, but we'll do it in detail next day, inshallah. Okay, cool. Shukran. Okay, have fun.
Okay, so that's number. number. If you, and again, if you struggle with if you struggle with that whole discussion, it's fine. And that's actually second year work. I'm just bringing it in now because just to kind of introduce you to to what's going to be happening next year, inshallah. So, so some things next year is that we, we do things we've covered already, but we do it in greater depth with some of the exceptions and some of the more details. And we obviously add a lot more other details as well. Okay, good. Next, the next verse. Wa in to bedu, wa in and if to bedu, you expose, you reveal, you make manifest, ma, whatever fi is in and fusikum in yourselves. Oh, or to hu, or you conceal it. So to bedu means to expose and reveal, to hu means to conceal, to opposite meanings. Oh, to hu, or you conceal it. Yuhasibakum bihilla. Yuhasibakum. Hasaba yuhasibum is to take to account. Yuhasibakum will take you to account. Bihi for it. Allah. Allah will take you to account for it. So the first question here. In is a conditional particle. We say conditional part, uh, uh, particle, we mean if something, then something. Like, uh, if you pass, dad will buy you a car or something. If something, then something. What are the verbs that represent the first part of the condition, if you pass? And what verbs represent the outcome of the condition, dad will buy you a car? Bismillah. Who wants to go? Uh, we had the two conditional verbs to be the tubudu okay and the tuhfu uh, good because it's, it's two things that you need to do um, mm -hmm. and then the outcome is the yuhasib okay so, so, so let's talk to that quickly so we have these two verbs here so this actually is one this is the whole condition right this is the whole condition, and these are the two verbs here. Oh, okay, I don't do another verb here. This is a, these are the two verbs here. Tuhfu and tubudu. And then you said you said what is the, the outcome? Yuhasib. Yuhasib. This is the verb. This is the verb. Good. So that's the first thing. The the two conditions are if you conceal it or if you reveal it. Those are two conditions. The result, the outcome is you hasibakum, Allah will take you to account. That's the that's the, the, the outcome. So many times in the Quran, you're going to have conditional sentences. If this, then that. If this, then that. So you're going to have a, a conditional sentence. What I want you to point out is that when you had the conditional sentence, something happened to the verb. And the the end so changed. The end change. Good. We haven't done all these verbs, but what change at the end? Do you think? It looks like the. Uh, it could have been tubaduna. Okay. Uh, good. That the noon was dropped off. Good. 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 Perfect. And uh, what about tuhfu? Remember, the high at the end is just an it. A, mm, yes. a, uh, so so let's let, let's leave the high off. What if that would be tuhfu? You can see it's the same as, as tubudu. Mm. Tubuduna, tuhfuna, mm. taf'aluna. Okay, so we dropped the noon of there. How about your hasib kum? What did when 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 you on the Mudari scale, what 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 did the verbs normally end up off with? Yaf alu, yaf ala, yaf ali, or yaf al. Mm. How did it end normally? Yaf Ailu. Yaf Ailu. And then Taf Ailu. And then Af Ailu. And then Naf Ailu. Yes. It ended with a U or Una or Ina, but that doesn't end with a, with a, with a Sukun. No. So, in other words, we haven't done this with the second year verb, but the original verb is Yuhasibu. Yuhasibu. And when the, the Dhamma was there, it became a Sukun, so you became Yuhasib. The original verb here was tubduna, now it became tubdu. The original verb here was tukhfuna, 
now became tuchfu. You have done none, none of these. You have done. You haven't done any of these verbs. These verbs yet. But the point I want to make is just something has been dropped off the end. And so it's always something it's always with the condition that the the verb will change. The end will change. Perf- yes, with the conditional sentence, the the present tense verbs will change. Okay. Uh, past tense are fixed, but the conditional sentence, the the present tense verb will change. It will change one of two ways. The dhamma will become a sukun, or nun will be dropped. Mahunana, it will always be a present uh, a present tense or a future tense um, verb, though. I don't, th- I can't think of a a condition that will have a past tense because it'll, it'll always be something that something in the future that must be done. Uh, but you can have a condition a condition in the past, like if you had studied, you would have oh, passed. Oh yes, mark correct yes. So, so you, you could have a past tense. Yes. So so and the reason why the the past tense doesn't change is because the past tense verbs are considered to be fixed. Like fa'ala, fa'alu, whereas the present tense verbs, the ending can change, but that we do later on. Okay. So again, the, this, this is new work. I'm just exposing you to it like gently and saying that this is a conditional sentence. There are two parts. There's the, there's the verb that represents the first part of the condition and there's the outcome of the condition. And both of these, the ending gets affected. Good. Next one. What are the grammar labels for the underlined words? Why in to be do ma fi and fusikum? What are the what's the grammar for the underlying words? Some difficult ones and some easy ones. Bismillah, who's going? Anybody, Ma? Bismillah. Ah, Ma. Waalaikumsalam, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Ah, Tahira. Tahira or Tahira? Tahira. It's Tahira. Okay, mashallah. Um, are, 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 are two of you listening? She. Okay, okay, mashallah. Okay, Bismillah. So, uh, in to be do what the Ma? I have it as um, uh, Mafulun Bi. Okay, perfect. So, that's a difficult one to see. Um, because you can't see the hal there, but you can you work it out in terms of meaning. And if see, you can so, see, so, so if yeah. you know the tub do is the verb, then you have to mm-hmm. find the mafulum bi. So that's that we felt the ma was the mafulum bi. It fits best as mafulum bi. Okay, can I ask you a question? Where's the file for tub do? Uh, it's inside tub do. I think. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's inside. So tub do is. Um, uh, yeah, so we said it's inside. The file, sorry, at the end, at the end, not inside. Yeah, huh? yeah. So, the, so the file it will be will be here yeah, at the at the end. So this will represent you. If you uh, reveal, and uh, what do you reveal? Ma, that which fee. is mafulun be perfect. Fee. Good fee. Harful jar, harful jar. Good and fusi. And ismu majrur. Ismu majrur and then kum is Good. And uh, I just remind everybody about the rule. If you have a damir attached to an ism, it's always mudafun ilay in the self of you, in yourself. So if it's a mudaf, not that we add a then of the self of all of you, yourselves. Fian. Uh, good. Tukhfu hu. So the who is mafulun bihi, we thought. Good. Because Again, the wow there is the fa'il. Yeah, so the wow the wow is the fa'il. The wow is a file and then mafulun bi is the who. Because um, the rule also Good. with a damir at the end of a, of, of a verb is always the mafulun bi. Yes, attached. and this who, this who goes back to what? If you say it, what does it refer to? Uh, what Allah is going to call you to account for. No, so what, what you reveal. Yes. What, okay, you re- yes. what, you, what, you, what you reveal. So uh, if you, re- what, and whether you reveal it or whether. So it's what Allah will call you to account for? Is that? Yes, yes, yes. But it, it is referring um, to whatever is in yourself. So there's something in yourself. Whether you, whether you, to do, you reveal it, oh, I mean, you, you, you reveal it, oh, to or you conceal it. 
you with me so that ha goes back to the ma chi yeah okay next one was you you hasibukum so you hasib is a verb so we said kum is a maf'ul and bihi okay perfect so verb is you hasib and kum is maf'ul and bihi when if you have the mir attached to an a fi'l is always maf'ul and bihi you hasib where is the fi okay bihi bihi let's get it on first so so then bihi we got harful jal and ismul majrur and allah is the fa'il Okay, the word Allah is the fa'il. The fa'il for yuhasibukum. Sibkum, jay. Yuhasibukum. Yuhasibukum. So, bihi, bi harful jar, ha ismu majrur. And the word Allah Jalala is the fa'il. And this here goes back to the ma as well. So, if you conceal whatever is in yourselves, or tukhfuhu, you... Sorry, if you reveal whatever is in yourselves, or tukhfuhu, or you conceal... Ma, that which is in, is in yourself, you hasibakum bihi, Allah will take account of you bihi regarding it, whatever is in your, in yourselves. Okay, good, mashallah. Um, Mala, and tukhu mm -hmm. and tukhu, is that, is that in the majhul form? No, it's, uh, basically, in the first year, we do one form of the verb, form one. And then in second and second year we do the other nine forms. Okay. okay. So, so, so was, it's coming next day, inshallah. Okay, because it didn't make sense to me if it was much wool. That's why I wasn't, you know, like yes. you. Know, and that's why that's why I was wasn't sure. Okay, now just after. Okay, no. So it's, it's definitely not much wool. It's it's an, like a yaf alu verb, a, a present tense mudari, but it's a, a form we haven't done yet. We'll do it next day, inshallah. Okay. And then Brother Munir asks here, what is the rule when a plural is attached to a harful jar? So Alhamdulillah, we have actually all, let me just actually undo, undo all of this here. <clears throat> just to see all our plural lessons in action here. <clears throat> okay, so here, here we have a pronoun attached to an ism, anfusikum, and then it becomes a mudafun ilay. And then we have a pronoun attached to a fi'l, two pronouns here, then it becomes maf'ul and bihi. And here we have a pronoun attached to a harful jar and becomes ismul majrur. So the answer question by the Munir becomes ismul majrur. So, wa in tubudu ma fi anfusikum, anfus is yourself. So, therefore, self is an ism. You have a pronoun attached to an ism, it becomes mudafun ilay. Tukhfuhu is a verb. And yuhasibakum, yuhasib is a verb. So therefore, this is tukhfuhu, you conceal it. Maf'ul bihi, yuhasibakum, will take account of you. Maf'ul bihi, and bihi, bi harful jar, and the he is a pronoun, ismul majrur. So they have all three examples. Okay, good. Also, I, 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 I would like you to also start seeing how much, you know, we didn't actually do much, much grammar, but the grammar that we did, is like the core, core grammar of the sentence. And if you get that right, and that's why we're practicing it now, it unlocks a lot of Arabic. Yes, there are, there are gaps which we'll fill in, in the next year or two, inshallah, but uh, just the one you get in first year, really like, it makes you able to navigate a large part of the of the sentence. Those few concepts, two jumlas and four four compounds, helps you to, to navigate it along with your, your sarf as well. So, Bismillah. فَيَغْفِرُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُعَذِّبُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ فَيَغْفِرُ Then he, Allah, he forgives li to man, whoever, yasha'u, he wills, wa, and yu'adhibu, he punishes man, whoever, yasha'u, he wills. So the question is, what are the grammar labels for the underlined words? Was it tired now? I think that's not time for half of to go now. <laughs> Bismillah. Anybody? Uncle Muhammad, I mean, it's quiet today. 
Assalamu alaikum. Mawala na. I'm always <laughs> quiet. How are you, Aran? Mawala na. Mashallah, mashallah. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Mawala na. Just on the, on the, on the, on the, just the time that Mawala na now ask her, I, I press the button. Alhamdulillah, let's go for it. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> good uh, connection there. Mawala na, the Liman is uh, Harfu Majroor and uh, Ismul Majroor. Uh, Harful? Majroor and Ismul Majroor. Uh, Harful yes. Jar and uh, Ismul Majroor. Har- <coughs> perfectly. Harful Liman. Jar and Man is Ismul Majroor. Just to point out that the word Man there is like Ma. The word mm. Man is also, it can't change. So Man in Raf is Man. Man in Nasb mm. is Man. And Man in Jar is Man. man. So we can't see the, the Kastra there, but it's, it is a Ismul Majroor in Jar, but it's a fixed word. Perfect. Mm. So it's a uh, and the second man? The the second one is uh, is a, is a, is the ism uh, Molana. Okay, so the word you adhibu is a verb. You adhibu yeah. and the fa'il is the huwa inside referring to Allah and he will punish. Who will Allah punish? In the verse here. Who will Allah punish? Whoever. So how many are still with us? Liman. So this is the deal shot. Liman, who, who the emphasis is, oh, would not forgive. Okay, so, 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 so let's just treat the, these two as two separate sentences. So this is a separate sentence here. Why you add the and Allah will punish. Who will he punish? Liman, not you, of all me. So the Liman yeah, is going... not not those who would forget or for whoever or chooses. Okay, so 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 he has two mans here. Which man is the Mafun Bihi? Liman. Oh, this one. The first one. The... No, the, the first one is actually linked to Yaghfiru. Remember, Yaghfiru is the first one. The first verb Allah is saying is Allah will forgive and who will he okay. forgive? Iman Yasha, whoever he, he wills. The second one yes. is you adhibu and you will punish. Who will you punish? Adhibu. Man Yasha. Man Yasha. Whoever. Whoever. Not. Where is not? Whoever he wills. Whoever he wills. Yes, so, so where is the mafun be? <laughs> I think I'm giving the answer here. <laughs> So let's go back to the original question. What is the what is the label for the man, the second man? Ah, I'm just gonna have to majrur or a hurufu. The first one is li harful jar man is majrur, but the second one is not harful jar. It's just a it's a ism. Remember, ism is, 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 is not is not a grammar label. Eh? Ism fi al harful is not a grammar label. Should that be your mafulun bi? Mafulun bi. Yes. That's your mafulun bi. Good. So who's Allah going to punish? He's going to punish. Who is action being done to? Man yasha Man is yasha. going to be mafulun bi. Man yasha is going to be mafulun bi. The man is mafulun. Because otherwise, you adhibu is the verb. Who is doing yes. the verb? The who inside Allah is punishing. Who is he punishing? Man, whoever, Man. yasha, he wills. So the hmm. hidden Bismillah. When I came up in our group, um uh Sister Hafida, let me just point that out also. Um it's Faya Firu. Uh, now we've got Lee Lee there, but um if Lee could have been taken out, mm-hmm. um whether uh that Lee bring emphasis to the question. Um, we don't know the lamb of emphasis. We have nothing. We just came yes, yes. briefly across that. So we don't know the rules attached to it. So, But if we look the second part of the sentence, there is also man, but with no li on mm-hmm. it. So now, we uh, because the two sentences, it looks almost exactly the same except for that li. So the question we asked, which is none of the 
my group is always off the trails. We have to bring back to the to the instructions. But um, Li, what the Li is for? We know the grammar labels for it, but is yes, it, does yes, it yes, have yes, an effect? Yes, yes. So I, it, it definitely has an effect. I'm not sure what the, it, it, it's not for emphasis. First of all, the, the lead is not for emphasis. The the lee for emphasis is uh, it normally has a fatha on. It's normally Allah. So that lee is on, that lee is a normal harful jar and the man is a normal is majurur. Um, the reason why, in other words, Allah could have said وَفَيَغْفِرُ مَنْ يَشَاء وَيُعَذِّبُ مَنْ يَشَاء. Why Allah says lee man? I'll have to check in tafsir why. You have to check in. I have to check in like a, a linguistic tafsir why the lee was included. Bismillah. In our in a, in the in the study group, uh, we again now with the rule for the for for the lean not being the emphasis. We had the conclusion to say that okay, if it is uh, the lamb of emphasis, then it shows Allah's mercy that uh, He's emphasizing that whoever uh, He will forgive. But then He doesn't emphasize about the punishment, and He shows Allah's mercy. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I, I'll have to check the here to, 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 to give a different answer. But yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't in a, an educated uh, response. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so, so, def so when, it comes to, when it comes to some questions about grammar, so those, those questions are like almost like algebra, those are easy questions. You just say, fine, my fool and be here. There's not much difference of opinion, although sometimes there are a difference of opinion. So when it comes to why did Allah do something, like why did Allah put the Lee there and not the Lee in the second one, and, and why is it different? You will have to consult the tafsir. And then within the tafsir, you get different types of tafsir. So some tafsirs are tafsir uh, with regard to just transmission and narrations, like they'll quote Ibn Abbas and they'll quote Ibn Mas'ud, they'll quote some hadith, like that, especially Ibn Kathir, they will quote lots of, 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 of different uh, sahaba and tabi'een. And then other scholars, um, uh, like Samakhshari, they are going to focus a lot on language. So uh, one would need to consult a linguistic tafsir where they analyze the question of why did Allah say something in a certain way? Because the question of why did Allah say something in a certain way is not a grammar question, it's a linguistic question. So I don't have an answer for you on the difference between the two. I'll have to give it some thought and check some tafsir, inshallah. Okay, so the so, so, Hida, is your hand still up or from the last time, or do you want to add something? No, no, shukran, Mulanan, okay. Let me just. Okay, no Okay. Well, the Rishad, Bismillah. Ma, I don't know if I was daydreaming and not, not paying attention, but um, the two two parts of the sentence are identical. One has a li and the man, and the other one doesn't have a li. How come the li man doesn't become a maf'ul and bihi in the first part, whereas in the second one, Understand why it's a hurtful job in the first part, but in the second one, mm -hmm. the man is a maf'ul and bihi. Could Mulana please just give some insight there? Shukran. Okay, so, so the first one, the li is the hurtful job, and the man is definitely ism majroor because of the hurtful job, ism majroor, but in terms of meaning, it will occupy the, the meaning of the maf'ul and bihi. Whereas in the second one, there's no hurtful job, so the direct label of man is maf'ul and bihi. So is it fair to call the whole li man then the maf'ul and bihi, or is there another term for that? You could say it occupies the place of the maf'ul and bihi. Okay, okay. okay. See, so, so in Arabic, if, if it's something, but it represents something else, we say occupies the place. Okay, so there is a term. Uh, okay, cool. Shukran. Yeah. Okay. Maulana, is it almost like the first sentence? Like, um, harful jar? Yes, um, yes, yes. Harful is majur, it occupies the place of the khabar. There's a lot of that happens in, in, in Arabic. A lot of that. And also, I want to just point out the difference between ma and man. Allah says, into ma fi anfusigum, and the Allah says, man. What's the difference between ma and man? That was an assignment question um, last week, Maulana. <laughs> okay, so I'm asking again. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, the ma refers to objects and uh, um, like what, and uh, um, man refers to people. And then you Good. said that. In Arab, the Arab sometimes refers to people as an insult to ma, as ma. Okay, okay, that was like a side point. Yes. But, but, but fundamentally, yes, the ma refers to things. They were into budu. You can't say why into budu man fi an fusikum. That would have different meaning if you if you reveal whoever is in your heart. That's like someone in love, maybe or something. That's like a different context. But ma means whatever. 
but fayaghfiru liman 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 yasha the man is refers to people so man refers to people and ma refers to inanimate objects and they both isms they both isms okay good uh let's carry on i'm actually quite enjoying to hear your feedback on all of these assignments i think it's we didn't i didn't actually have this last year last year we we, we did we carried on with more naho and solve but i think there's actually a better approach for us to do more practical examples at the end of the first year syllabus and then second year we can add some more more details okay so bismillah what's the next one for each word identify whether it's an ism a fi'l or a harf once ago fayaghfir liman yasha wa yu'adhibu man yasha just at the ism fi'l so i'll ask you you can show the answer fa ism fi'l or harf Harf. Gonna be a harf. Good. Yaghfiru. Verb. Fa'il. Fi'il. 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 Verb. Good. Li. Um, harf. Harf. Good. Man. Ismun majroor. So we're not, we're not in the grammar level, we're just saying ism fi'il or harf. Ism fi'il. So man is ism. Ism. Yasha'u. Yasha'u. Fi'il. Fi'il. Good. Wa. Harf. Good. You are the Bible. Feel. Man. Isum. Yasha. Feel. Feel. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Good. Next one. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. What type of sentence is this? And you hopefully know it's either Jumla Fi'liya or Jumla Tul Ismiya. Jumlatul Ismiya. Jumlatul Ismiya. Good. Jumlatul Ismiya. Then the second, next question is which words could be removed from this, uh, this Jumlatul Ismiya and it will still remain intact as Jumlatul Ismiya? Mamuna, I've got um, you can remove other um, Kulli Shayin. You could remove ala kulli shayin. So let's try it inshallah. We, let's remove ala kulli shayin. And then we have left wallahu qadirun. And Allah is all able, all powerful. Is that a sentence? I think so, yes. Yes, Malala. Yes, if that's a sentence, then what's the labels for the word Allah and the word qadirun? Morning, I said, Mukhtar Al-Khabar. Al-Tawfiq, mashallah, making it David this morning. I was waiting for you. Having breakfast. <laughs> yeah, breakfast. Okay, okay, okay. I hope you're having breakfast and listening in. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay, so the word Allah is the, the Mubtada, Lafzul Jalala, and the word Qadirun is the, the Khabar. Wallahu Qadirun, and Allah is all able, all powerful. The Ala Kulli Shayin is telling you what? This ala kulli shayin is telling you what? Is this ala kulli shayin upon any, everything referring to Allah or referring to Qadirun? I think it's referring to Qadirun. Good. So in other words, this here is referring to it's actually just giving you more information about Qadirun. Not the Khabar, but it's giving you more information. In other words, Wallahu Qadirun and Allah is all able, all powerful over what? Ala kulli shayin upon everything. Okay, good. But you definitely couldn't rem you couldn't remove Qadirun and just leave it Wallahu ala kulli shayin. And Allah is over all things. That wouldn't be a sentence. Okay, so I think we're in there. Any other questions on the on the worksheet? No questions, well, no, just shukran. It's, it's actually a very useful exercise to, to, to do. Alhamdulillah. Are, are you guys feeling like, uh, are you feeling proud of yourself, Brother Rashad? Not proud, I'm saying, are you feeling a bit empowered? 
It's actually nice to do practical examples, Molana, better than the workbook examples, because you can actually, and it's nice that it's Quran verses, so it's, it's very cool, Molana, very cool, alhamdulillah. Yes, yes, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. My two, inshallah, awniya is that uh, every Muslim must learn this as part of their normal education. Like you learn Alif Bata, you learn the basic, the like very, very basics. I, I don't think everybody's going to speak Arabic, but at least everybody can learn what the fa'in and the maf'ul and bihis, the harfu jan isma jurul. <clears throat> and just the, the ability to, once you do a little bit of Arabic, even if you struggle to translate the language, automatically it just becomes more engaging. If you do no Arabic, the Quran is always going to sound like a whole lot of sounds. And if you do a little bit of Arabic, then your mind almost becomes much more curious and active and engaged because a part of you is always wondering, you know, well, what does this mean? Um, and so on. So that's the, the Niyyah, inshallah. One day we will get there, inshallah. Everything starts with the Niyyah. Yes, Molana. We, um, we look at new eyes, set of eyes to the Rakams coming in people's houses and we, <laughs> we move to the Khabar, the Rakams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a Rakam is normally very difficult to start because it's always like so fancy in Arabic. <laughs> but it's, it's good, yes. <laughs>